here's, here's one thing, Jenny, and, and you know I've got an open mind. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, back in, in 1983, back in, in the 90s, you know, we did have chil children dying every week of meningitis. And, and uh, you know, I remember doing rounds with my dad, and almost, almost every day he'd need to go to the hospital and, and take care of a child that had some sort of vaccine-preventable illness. And, you know, with the increase of vaccines, we've seen a huge decline in some of the really nasty things that I don't, that I'm so glad I don't have to deal with. You know, epiglottitis, meningitis, you know, a lot of pneumonias. You know, kids just aren't dying of that sort of stuff anymore. And, and, and as a pediatrician, that's the last thing I want to see is for people to stop vaccinating because we'll, we'll start seeing kids die of polio okay, again. Okay, let me tell you this. We do not need that many vaccines that we need. The chicken pox, I think, can be a parent's choice. The rotavirus, the flu shot that still contains mercury. JB, hepatitis B, go ahead. Wait, know, sure. the, the devil is always in the details. And one of the problems with vaccines is they've been so great that people overly generalize about them as if they're only great. We looked at other first world countries. We're 34th in under five mortality behind such luminaries as Cuba and Slovenia. However, we have 36 vaccines, the top five, which include countries like Finland, Norway, Iceland, average 11 and 13 vaccines. From 1994, we added eight vaccines to our schedule. There are vaccines like flu, rotavirus, varicella that have only been picked up by two or three of the other 30 countries. So what do they know that we don't? Why aren't they picking up vaccines that have been around for 15 years? And why are their autism rates one in a thousand, one in fifteen hundred, one in two thousand. It doesn't take a brain surgeon or an ER doctor to figure out there might be a correlation. We don't want to narrow, be too narrow-minded and say it's it's only the vaccines and 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 not and and ignore other potential problems. In my opinion, and this is just me wanting to have an open debate about this, vaccines are really the one thing we have looked at yeah, as uh, causing autism. Yeah, I agree with that you. That is what completely yeah. bogus. No, that is such a bogus see. statement. How many vaccines have they looked at in these studies? How many? What's the answer? It's two. How many ingredients have they studied of 35? What's the answer? It's one. You've looked at two of 36 shots and one of 35 vaccines, and you're going to stand on the stage and say that vaccines and autism are unrelated? It is the most bogus tobacco science. It's a smokescreen. Anybody who takes the time to read it would agree. I'm so sick of doctors who don't read the studies, who don't know the details, sitting here telling parents and reassuring them that vaccines don't cause autism. It is irresponsible. And this is the biggest problem and the reason that, that doctors in this country are frustrated. Read the because, science. listen, all you're doing is you're antagonizing a medical community that wants to help these kids. You haven't okay? done the research. You're antagonizing me. You're antagonizing Dr. Sears. Right. Why would you do that? Yeah, this you show is all about his My son was... Okay, was, you know, and it, okay, everyone wants to blame someone, right? Are, yes, right? this is what it's... What we're trying to figure out here is how to help kids. But all you do when you yell at me on my stage, all you do is anger me. I'm sorry and make me feelings, but you didn't feel, know the I details. I asked you to defend... Your stance, and all you did was attack me as an individual. Why would I want to listen to you when you do that to me? Because Instead, I want to listen to Dr. Jerry autism. here, who will rationally walk through why they're removing certain things from foods that could be causing problems, why we're removing environmental toxins that could be causing autism. You know, I, I want to help these kids live better lives just like everyone else. I don't understand why we all have to argue so much with one another, because when you attack all you do is create frustration.